So guys, welcome to another Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video. Today we're going to be doing some gameplay with a party imp. This can be sort of the first proper run with a party imp that I've had. I haven't really got many levels on it due to the fact I've only really used it in the backyard battleground. So uh, yeah, it's going to be the first time for me. We are going to be playing Suburbanation on Frosty Creek. If you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and comment what else you'd like to see on the channel. So let's get into it. So the party imp. Let's quickly customise his appearance before we jump into the game. Um... I'd like to use the Everlasting Crown, but then again, um, it's the uh, extra noise, isn't that, that it makes that's made me think this, uh, leave that for now. Um, let's use a special item that I've got, the Silver Future Fish. And then, let's see what other uh, sort of accessories have we got. Let's go, what's the Viper Pilot? That looks pretty cool. Uh, the Robo Dog, that looks a lot better. Let's go with that, because it kind of blends in with the whole hat. I think that looks great. Okay, now let's go with facial hair. So, pie face completely takes away the whole um, use of the robo dog. Neck beard that looks okay. Uh, what else is there? I'm thinking the ineffective disguise looks pretty cool. Let's go with that. And uh, then for the tattoo, we've got a lot of tattoos we can use. Pen explosion, you can't really see that. That you can sort of see uh, the tartanish. Mime time. Let's go with the speed swirl. That looks good. Now the abilities are all the basic abilities. Because you can't get any other ones. We haven't got any gestures or any character upgrades so far. So let's get into it. Hopefully we can do pretty well with this character. I'll play two games with this character. And uh, yeah. I don't really use the imp characters. I find you die way too easily. It's definitely a character you need to be strategic with. You need to think about... Uh, how you're going to attack people, for example, there. I've just jumped straight away into the fight, and uh, I've got two things covering me. Let's see. Oh, okay. So straight away we do die. That is the reason why I don't use the imp too much. Um, mainly for the fact that you still die way too easily. Yeah, okay, 75 health has been a little bit of an upgrade, but it's not a massive upgrade. The main use of the, of the imp is purely for the Z-Mech. Apart from that, uh, not much use can really do much out of it I'd say um, everyone plays as the imp for that main reason for that z-mech other than that I don't really see many people playing as the imp they want to wait until they get the z-mech and then they can start actually picking up the uh, kills and vanquishes and all that good stuff I keep on having someone walking into me so I can't do anything there I'm not going to capture that because the team's got that covered I want to pick up a vanquish see if we can get this on Rose because Rose isn't as powerful anymore nope she's gone into her arcane enigma bit of a problem What's Rose doing? <laughs> Rose is just chilling in the Arcane Enigma. Can we... Ah, oh, there you go. She's, she's gone. I don't know why she sort of waited with that. I would have walked away personally. Because she wasn't really going to get anywhere. Let's see if we can creep down here. Yeah, we got him. Well, no, it was assist. That's a bit of a letdown. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mech time. It's calling the mech. This is the best part about this party character. Hopefully we can get party time at some point as well to show you guys. But yeah, this is definitely my favourite part of the character. Look how cool that mech is. Like, <laughs> that's crazy cool. This is the first legendary character I've actually unlocked. So uh, if you're wondering why I haven't really got used to it, it's for that main reason. As you can see here, look. Are we going to pick up some... Oh... Wow, okay. So we are actually tearing the entire one up there. We've got a four vanquish streak at the moment. That chili bean bomb's going to cause us a few problems. Uh, da -da -da. Let's go for this guy down here who's running away. That's a five vanquish streak. Let's go for the cob here. Yep, okay. That's a six vanquish streak. Now we need to sort of eject. Yep, okay. There's a bit of a delay with the ejection time, I think. But, uh, nevertheless, we have got away with that. Still on 75 health. Party time hasn't really built up yet, which is a bit of a letdown. Oh, okay. Every single time I get wiped out by that cob. I think we was on... Yeah, we was on a 6 vanquish streak there, which was pretty sweet. Wasn't too bad. But, uh, we wasn't exactly getting, um, <laughs> a little bit higher than that. But still, that's not bad. 6 vanquish streak bit frustrated how we were surviving for that long had full health and we got wiped out by the cob and his y ability the husk cop apart from that it was wasn't a bad run right so they're taking c now yeah i did wonder let's go over here do that and 
yeah, he's gone. Okay, so we've redeemed C there. Not much health on us. Party time starting to build up. I don't think we're going to get party time by the end of this. Oh, okay, is the scientist not going to heal us there? No. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Thanks for that. Much appreciated. Um, whoa, okay. Looks like pea shooter paradise over here. Whoa, okay. I've somehow got a couple of assists and stuff like that in that. Bit surprised how I did that. Let's see, can we. I know when you go into your uh, Z mech, your party time goes away. I know that for a fact. Oh! Ah, oh, he's running away. Get him, get him. Yeah, got him. Okay, right. So we're halfway to party time. Let's try and capture this. Maybe this. What did I get wiped out there by? Oh, it was a sombrero beam bomb. Wow. Okay. So I didn't even see that coming. I got wiped out. Oh, there's a pea shooter here. Let's get him, let's get him. Yeah, okay, we're level 5. It is really easy to level up this character once you uh, start building on. Let's chuck that over there. Is this going to do anything? Ah, uh, I think we've got a vanquish. No, we didn't even vanquish any of them in time. So that is the end of the first game, guys. Let's see how we did at the table, and then I'll probably... Uh, cut through to the next game How did we do? I'm hoping we did quite cool there Hoping we did quite cool if we didn't do that great. Oh, there's me the uh, well We got a vanquished streak of seven by the maybe no it's an assist. Is that assists? Oh, <laughs> I think we got the assist master. So we got nine vanquishes in that and Yeah, we did get seven assists, which isn't too bad um, how many times did we vanquish? Three times, but we vanquished nine players. So that was a pretty good run. Hopefully we can do better the second time round and get party time up and going. And I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. Okay then guys, so we now are on Sandy Sands. And we're actually, uh, we had to switch teams to get onto the Zombies team. But never mind, I'm not too bothered about the whole switching team, bonus loss, yada yada. Let's see if uh, capturing a zone here will play a good part into getting the party time. And then we'll try and go for that. Not too bothered on getting vanquish streaks at the moment. If we can get party time up and running and this plays a part, then that is very good. No, it doesn't. Party time does not get anything from capturing a suburbanation spot. So that was just a complete waste of time. And everyone's coming over here. Oh, ah, every time. It's the husk hop, guys. It's the husk hop that always gets me. That character has now become the new Rose, in my opinion. Without a shadow of a doubt. Look, there's Rose there. Doing absolutely nothing as per usual. Let's just do that. Ah, oh, and it's, it's Cobb. It's the Cobb character, yep. Every time. So we're actually being vanquished twice here. That's not a good start. But uh, it just seems like it's that, it's that character that causes us all the problems. Where's he gone? Right, there's another one over here. Let's see if we can get the better on him. Look, he's using the Husk Cop again. Trying to use it on a different character. I didn't even get an assist or anything like that. That was a bit of a letdown. Uh, let's see. Rose is on our own over here by the looks of things. Yeah, let's go for Rose. Oh, I'm getting hit from behind. Oh, it was by Rose. Get away from that while she's in our arcane enigma. And now coming for the vanquish. No, assists. Assist for days. Assist again. Wow, okay. So we keep getting assists. We're not getting anything... For assist, so it's got to be vanquishes to get the stuff that we want. There we go. Now we've started building up our vanquish party meet, party time type thing. Well, party meter, I'd say, or something like that. Whatever you want to call it. There's another one. Come on. No, 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 no. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <sighs> I have to keep moving out of the way because that uh, chili bean bomb or sombrero bean bomb just wipes me out in one go. Doesn't matter how much of a distance you are away from them, you get wiped out. For sure. Ah, oh, I knew it was going to get wiped out. That was going to be a pretty cool play, but due to the lack of damage that the imp does deal there, and uh, <laughs> it just wasn't going to go out of plan. With this character and with the class in general, you cannot go up for... Uh, trying to take out multiple people you have to go for the 1v1 scenarios or you have to sort of get sneaking up on them I'd say and make sure that you're not being seen coming so otherwise it just causes masses of problems for you as the player 
Look, Husk Hop again. He hasn't got me that time. Let's, let's get rid of him there. Let's go for Rose. If you go in a, like, a sort of team, it's a lot easier to do stuff. So if I try and stay away from Rose there, yeah. I've got a load of points for saving the ally. And I think that built up my party time. So saving the ally... Well, ally, yeah. Does uh, seem to build up your party time by the looks of things. Let's have a look, see. Pop around the corner after this guy. This hill bomb doesn't matter to me because I'm such a low health character. <laughs> this is a situation where I'm going to have to dive back for sure, yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can pop around the corner. There, we have basically got a team of imps. I've just realised that. That is our team, it's just imps. Imp, 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 everywhere. See if we can sneak around this side and pick up some more Vanquishes. I'm trying to save up for the party time. Right, okay, so there's two Cobb variants there. Let's do this. Is it going to do anything? Are we going to get some Vanquishes? We're not. We're going to get probably wiped out. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. It was always going to happen. Husk Hop every time gets me. I was trying to walk away from it. I saw it coming, but uh, no. So it's just calling our mech. Might as well. I'm a bit gutted that I can't get party time. But that's just the way it's going to be, I think. It seems like it's way too hard at the moment to get that. Let's fire some rockets down there if we can. Yeah, that's another one gone. Stamp on him. Ah, okay. We already got him. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Who else is around there? There's a pea shoot right there. Got an assist for him. Rose is here. We got her. Barbecue corn. Let's go for him. Get some payback on the cons. Oh, I did vanquish him. But I got taken out whilst doing it. He vanquished me and I vanquished him. I thought I got wiped out by the chili bean bomb. But I didn't there. Let's see. One nine vanquishes. So we're averaging out what we had before. There's still a lot left in this game by the looks of things. For sure. So uh, let's push over to see. Let's get some more vanquishes going. I'm trying to watch my back as well because I know if I get snuck on, uh, snuck up on, it's going to be a massive problem for me. So there is a Citron hiding in this corner. Let's see if we can go for him. Okay, he wasn't hiding. He was just trying to. That was sneaky. I like that play. That was that was pretty cool play. I'll give you that. But he's going to try and roll away from us. But no, nah, I've got you. There you go. Shouldn't have had an assist there. That was a big no-no. Definitely didn't deserve an assist. I was all over that character. And uh, someone else came in and sort of swooped the kill away from me. So, let's have a look at this pea shooter here. I don't have any of my special abilities, so it's sort of going to be a case of trying to avoid the... Ah, no. I was trying to avoid the chili bean bomb, but go after the character at the same time. So it was a bit of a half-half uh, -half decision. I don't want characters reviving me. Because in this game mode, it doesn't really matter. In Team Vanquish and things like that, yeah, okay. Revive me. I'm not overly bothered. But in this, I, I don't want to be revived. Especially by characters that aren't scientists. Because I don't get my full health. So it's just pointless. Ah, oh, I read you. I read you doing that. I knew he was going to do it. Oh, it's a chili bean bomb every time. Suburbanation. Oh, we did get a revenge from the grave there. And the player Vanquish and all that good stuff. But, I just... Things like that you just know is going to happen. In Suburbanation, as long as you put, I don't know, an imp on the, on the actual Suburbanation point, a chili bean bomb or anything that can cause some damage, just chuck it on there and you will get a vanquish because there's always someone on there. Simple as that. Look how many people over here. Let's just chuck that in. That's not really going to do anything, I don't think. No, see, it's, it's really hard with a character like the imp to go all guns blazing. It is a sort of a... Uh, Rushing class, but you can't go up against teams. That's one thing for sure. Is this character any good? Yeah, I know party time is something that uh, we can get, and it is something that is pretty good. It makes the character shoot faster, it makes the character run faster, but uh, would I say it is a big difference in comparison to other imp characters? This one does seem pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's a massive. Uh, massive, massive difference between this legendary character and the other imp variants we can go with. So, uh, what I'll do is, guys, I'll get a clip of party time.
put it in at the end of this video. And uh, yeah, that'd be as simple as it. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. Comment what else you'd like to see. And uh, yeah, subscribe for future videos like this. And I'll see you guys as always in the next video. Sweet revenge!